Which way do we go? It's a question we hear a lot at Beacon Park Boats as customers set off on their adventures. Many of our customers decide to turn left and head north for the views of the highest mountain in southern Britain, Penavan, and the Brecon Beacons. But we also recommend you consider the less trodden path south. Turn right as you leave the boathouse and you're met with beautiful views and some of the most fascinating history you're likely to find anywhere along any waterway in the UK. Heading south, you'll pass Sugarloaf Mountain and the Langattock Escarpment and historic lime kilns along the canal. Cruise through historic Landvoist Wharf, the former home of Beacon Park Boats. On past Abergavenny and views of Skirid and the Usk Valley. If you're there in September, you'll be able to catch the Abergavenny Food Festival, which is highly recommended. Goitra Wharf is a look into the 200-year industrial history of the canals, with interpretation boards and canal-side walks. If you find the wharf too busy, we can suggest mooring between bridges 70 and 71, where it's more secluded, but also a short walk to the Goitra Arms pub. Heading further south, another historically significant area is the Pont of Moyle Basin, where the canal narrows so that boats could pay at the toll house. Thankfully, you won't have to pay a fee to use the canal today, but it's a fascinating place to explore. A lot of people who head south enjoy a stop at the Open Hearth pub with its canal side seating. As this part of the canal is newly reopened, they've opened a book for you to record your journey. There are some very special landmarks going south, some of which are almost impossible to miss. You'll need to duck to get under the Crown Bridge, the lowest on the canal, followed swiftly by the Combran Tunnel. Your boat will of course be powered today, but there was once a time when the boat's crew would lie on their backs and walk the boat through the tunnel themselves. This is, for the moment, the final navigable stretch of the canal, ending at five locks. You could choose to stay the night and look around the locks, even walk the footpath down to Newport. Or you can turn around and head back, taking in all the sights from a different direction. And maybe take the journey north next time.